Howdy folks, I'm just going to show you a little bit of my design process. Uh, rebuilding a set of corrals at a really remote location and using this real project that we did this year. So here's the project. The image here is from Digital Globe, which is the built-in SketchUp uh, geolocation system. I also imported a uh, image from Google Earth, which shows the project a little bit better. So the most important things are we've got a property line that we can't cross with the new design. We've got a building with a cement pad under it. It's just an old pull barn, but this is remote Montana, so we want to reuse it if we can because it's expensive to build new. We've got a water tank here that we want to reuse if it's possible. And we've got some trees and a power line that are really too far away to be a problem. And then, of course, we've got the road. So the first step is to model up all that important stuff. That gives you a way to uh, get a sense of scale of everything and uh, start putting in some components and playing with it. So in the original system, the chute face is north, the loading chute doesn't really work very good, and the whole system, and even though you can get the cows in, you can get them sorted, the whole system isn't very good, and uh, is, the fence is falling apart, so it needs rebuilt anyway. So, kind of the scope of the design for this is to make a really good loading-unloading facility that you can use for cattle pots, stock trailers, and horse trailers. We want to try to reuse the building and reuse the water point. We need room to bring in 250 pairs comfortably and be able to sort them and work with them. And we want a good working facility under that roof that uses a bud box that is gives you really good sorting after the shoot. We're going to have sorting before the shoot as well, mostly to split up the uh, cows and calves, but we wanted really good sorting coming out of the chute. One of the first things I decided to do was to put the chute in facing south instead of facing north, and that's just going to open up a lot of possibilities for the loading facility. So we've got a chute and we've got an alleyway. That kind of determines the position of our bud box. chose to put the loading chute right here so that as the trucks come in, they turn around, back up, then they're when they're loaded, they're headed out. So they don't have to make a U-turn when they're loaded. We also put a narrow alley for ground loading beside the chute, and then put a wide gate here for horse trailers that don't have a narrow stock gate on them. So we've got three ways that we're going to load. Two of them use the bud box here with the gate facing the right direction. The other one for the horse trailers, the bud box still works, but the horse, the gate's hanging off the wrong side, but you just have to deal with it. The position of the chute also determines the position of our loading, of our, our sorting gates. So here we ended up with a total of three that could be hydraulic, um, but a total of three main sorting gates here. And the rest of the corrals kind of just pull those pieces together. We extend this alleyway down here that connects the bud box and the other bud box together, and it connects them up with the sorting gates. And all the main pens basically just radiate out from the sorting gates. And then this pin here is just kind of added on, and this pin here is just kind of added on um, where it sits. The three pins on the lower side are primarily the pens that you're going to use to sort the cows away from the calves before you work them through the chute and then to hold them there as you're working them through the chute. You've got a lot of different options with gates on both sides of, of this, uh, between these pens. You've got gates on this side and, and here to go between these pens. You've got gates here and here to go into in and back out of the alleyway. It's got a lot of different options to go between these pins, between these pins, 
between the pins and the alleyways so that if it doesn't work exactly like we envisioned at the beginning, you're going to figure out a way to make it work just because you have so many options. The way it'll work when you're getting ready to either work through the chute or load out through a truck is you're going to hold the cows in these two pens here mainly, bring them into the alleyway, and then up into the bud box through the chute. And then when they exit the chute, you've got three main ways to sort. And then you've got kind of an extra way to sort here that goes back into the alleyway or to the pens that are holding cows. So primarily three main ways to sort, but an additional three that are optional. Some other features of it we did in we were able to reuse this water point that's located here. We just decided to split the fence with it so animals in the pasture can also use it. The main ways the cows will enter the facility are at the corner here and at the corner here. And there's also another direction right here that they can enter. You can see the trailers for loadout here. And we were also able to keep the chute accessible from the outside so you can just back your pickup right up to the chute which is something I always try to do just for ease of bringing all your equipment up to the chute when you're ready to work. It's a lot easier to just back it right up to the chute instead of having to unload it, carry it over a couple fences and then set up to work. So that was the project. Um, I think it's being built this year. If I get some pictures of it I'll make sure to post them up. But that's uh, kind of how I like to do a design like this. Um, we're mainly focusing on how easy it is for the cowboys to work. Um, we want to try to make it so that you never have to crawl over a fence, so that you've always got an option to use the pens in different ways from what they were originally intended for, because you can't always predict how the cows are going to work after you get it built. But if you've got a gate in both sides of the pen, then you can figure out a way to make it work. I generally like using bud boxes over tubs, um, mainly because it's the cows work better through them and they're cheaper to build than tubs, so you can spend the money on other stuff. And one thing I always like to try to do in the facilities is connect your exit from the chute back to the entrance in case you miss a cow in the chute you can flip a gate and work her again really easily <clears throat> or if you need to work some cows through the chute and then load them up in a trailer it's really easy to do um, try to make sure that you can just flow from one point to any other point in the corrals fairly easily so i hope that helps maybe gives you some ideas for your own facility let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer.